Almost a year ago, I decided that I had enough and I wanted to challenge myself to build my curves. I followed my next level guide and my elevate guide and this is what I look like 20 pounds and almost 12 months later. But it's time for a new chapter because today I'm on day one of my 30 day fat loss journey. And I get it, not everyone wants to go through these phases of gaining weight, building muscle, losing fat and that's completely fine. I just really enjoy challenging myself and that is what I did this last year. Will I do it again? I'm not sure. I'll assess how I feel after this fat loss journey but I'm excited to take you along with me in this process to show you exactly what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, when I'm doing it. So in case you're on the same journey as I am then maybe you can get some inspo and if not then maybe you just enjoy following along. I started my 30 day fat loss journey so let's get ready to go to the gym. The reason why I'm starting this 30 day fat loss journey is because I actually gained 20 pounds. I gained that intentionally because I was on my lean bulking journey. Those 20 pounds that I gained wasn't purely muscle tissue, it was also fat tissue. So that's why I decided to go on this mini shred journey to reveal a bit of the muscle that I built during my bulk. So in this video, I wanted to show everything that I eat in a day and how I train in a day to basically guide me through this fat loss journey. So if you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because then you'll see how I'm doing these next 30 days. Okay, so now that I'm ready, I'm going to show you how I make my breakfast. Now, if you've seen my videos before, then you know that I'm typically not your breakfast before the gym kind of girl, but I do make something that requires quite a bit of a weight. So I just thought I would go ahead and show you how I make it. I've been loving my matcha chia seed overnight pudding, and then I eat it with some Greek yogurt and then some toppings, maybe some fruits, banana, or I've been loving some peanuts as well. You can basically add any variations, but I love the subtle kick that you get from the matcha and I just love the taste so let's go ahead and make it and it's super quick And then some honey. We're going to let this soak for at least two hours, preferably overnight. You don't want to eat it right away because otherwise the chia seeds will expand in your stomach and will make you bloated most likely. So I'm just going to pop it in the fridge, go to the gym, and then when I go back or when I come back, I'm going to top it with the Greek yogurt and then my other toppings. Here is today's gym fit. I picked it out yesterday evening so I don't have to make decisions today, but I haven't actually tried it on yet. So we'll see how it goes, but it's definitely a fun little pink moment. So we'll see. So today I have something really exciting planned in the gym, a new workout. I've been changing my workouts up and that is because I have been trying some new programs, some different workouts, which I'll share maybe soon. But first, oh my God, I have to share this. It's your girl on the cover of the Women's Health. I know, crazy. I don't know if you remember, but when I was in Spain, I had to fly back for a shoot. This was the shoot. I did an interview. I'm like so excited. So it's available for sale right now in the Netherlands and in Belgium. So unfortunately not worldwide, but at at least we made it on the cover of the women's health honestly crazy but back to the workout so what i did i started with the warm-up as always don't neglect your warm-up and then i went into this kind of circuit style training just because i really wanted to get a full body workout in and get a bit of a sweat on so what i did is i did three rounds of every single exercise three sets and i did burpees and i combined it with the gorilla row that you just saw so with the burpees you obviously do a push-up so that was my push move Movement for the day and then I balanced it with the row to train a pull movement as well. Burpees are one of these exercises that look super simple but honestly you get a full body workout in. If a burpee with a push-up is too difficult you can also just lower yourself to the floor and then push yourself on the floor again. It doesn't have to be like an actual push-up and then this is the gorilla row which is also kind of like a full body exercise because you need to, your core to keep stabilized your train your glutes because obviously you're in that stretch position and then the next set that i did was 
RDLs combined with a sumo squat. I just had one pair of dumbbells, so I just work with what I had. But as you can see here, I still train as I normally would with my regular workout. So RDL, keep it slow, focus on your tempo. And then I transitioned into the sumo squat. If you don't have access to kettlebells, for example, you can also stack your dumbbells and then get double the weight. And I was so sweaty. And I actually love the outfit. Like it wasn't completely camel proof and stuff, but it was a cute color at least. And then after those four exercises, I did two abs exercises i've been working on building up my core strength obviously i do a lot of follow along app workouts on my follow along channel which i absolutely love but i also want to make sure that you can actually see me progress with the workouts this was the first thing that i ate today because the girl from the gym gave me this little yogurt which was really nice so i was like love it give me some extra protein <laughs> i probably could use some carbs by now but it was fine at least i had something usually i don't eat during my training but it was fine and then i switched back with with the app exercises again I believe I did two sets of the app work because I was tired and then I also decided that I wanted to end with some cardio oh I also did the dips as well I forgot but dips as well and then I ended with some cardio so for me whenever I'm in a fat loss phase I do different types of cardio usually I do low intensity steady state which is like incline walking for example then I also do a moderate intensity so for example jogging I've been really loving to run lately sometimes do high intensity workouts usually whenever I film my follow alongs or whenever I do sprints but that's everything I did for my workout and now back to my breakfast so here I'm topping up the matcha with my low-fat Greek yogurt and then I added some banana and some other toppings and here is breakfast so we have the matcha chia seeds the yogurt banana then some walnuts and some crunchy granola gentle <laughs> one of the things that i do whenever i'm in a fat loss phase is i try to keep my food very high in volume so i've been loving to have lots of salads for example also because i get my greens in i get my fiber in house with my digestion so i made this green goddess salad with spinach edamame beans avocado pomegranate seeds i don't know if that's the english word salmon and then some lemon zest lemon juice olive oil and pepper and sesame seeds and some parmesan cheese so i've been really trying to make sure that i get my protein in obviously but also my fats because fats are essential for your hormonal health so i want to make sure that i get the healthy fats in during the day but that was my lunch and then we did more work for making recipes for the app honestly guys the app is coming so close the lounge i'm getting so nervous but so excited at the same time but we've been working really hard behind the scenes on getting everything ready adding all the recipes to the app it's so much work but i am like loving every second of it and then it was already time to make dinner for dinner i made these honey lemon crispy glazed chicken thighs lovely i just add a bunch of spices salt pepper paprika garlic onion powder and then i added some olive oil i added some lemon zest i believe and some honey and then i just marinated the chicken in it if you can marinate for as long as possible like during the night maybe or at least a few hours in the fridge i just popped it in the air fryer and then i quickly glazed it with some soy sauce vinegar honey and lemon i think i put in there not exactly sure served it with some rice and some of the vegetables and this is what i wanted to show you it's been a couple of weeks but i did the event to reveal the woman's health cover with a few of you i asked on instagram who wanted to be there it was like super last minute in amsterdam i had this vision that i wanted this beautiful small location like intimate setting table with food workout mats do a workout and then talk and it was oh, i had like the best time connecting with you guys and everyone was so sweet and supportive and i love you guys like it made my day and then as a snack i've been loving this frozen yogurt i've seen the ninja creamy everywhere on social but honestly you could just make frozen yogurt yourself it's so easy just frozen yogurt or just yogurt and then honey and then you can add toppings and then freeze it or put it in the freezer for at least a couple of hours and then you'll have this delicious creamy frozen yogurt now by the time i got the filming it was already melted so, so i made sure to include a shot from a few weeks ago and i filmed the recipe for my app i'm still not tracking macros or counting calories even though 
that I'm in this fat loss journey, which works for me. It can work for you as well. I do know what is in most food items because I've tracked macros before, but I just focus on eating the things that make me feel good and healthy. But thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.